Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have learned about the mutations concept in the Vuex. We have learned right now. In this video, we will try to learn about the getters function, getters functionality. So we have learned about the state. Okay, how to declare the state, how to get the state through the computed. We have seen, and also we have seen the mutations. We have seen, and now we will learn about this getters functionality. So what is this getters thing? So when this getters will be useful? Okay, let's try to learn with a simple example. Let's go to the main.js. Okay, here is the main.js, and here I'll be writing another set of data. Okay, to do's list. Let's think that to do's list I'm having. So ID, text, ID, I, I am having the list of IDs, text, and all those things I'm having. Okay, whether it is done or not, I'll be having the list of data. Now, what I want to do is I want to display this to do's list in a uh, list form so i can go to a component i can create in a new component something like to do list dot view i can create a new component like this and here i can write i can write the template template okay template i can write the template and here i can go i can write a simple do <coughs> Before going, so right, right, let's write the script. Script tag, and here export default, and there will be the data. Okay, so right now we don't have any data. Why? Because we will be getting the data from the, what I can say, from the mutations, right? So from the state. So here I can write computed, computed. So to do's to do's or otherwise to do's list and here written this dot dollar store dot state dot to do's i think this is the name we have kept okay so now let's go here i can write ul sorry ul li and i can loop over with this one vi fun per to do in to do's list okay so this is the name i have kept right so this is the name i have kept and here we need to give the key is equal to we have the id for this one to do dot id and here i will show i will show to do dot text okay so this is the just basic one okay so this is the basic one now let's go to the app dot view and include this component import to do's list from dot slash components slash to do's list dot view okay so we have declared here to do's list dot view now here what i will try to do is so here i can go to one view and i can write to do's sorry to do's list i can write the component here now let's go and see the output if i try to see the output here if we try to see the output okay to do's list not a problem okay we have copied that two times okay okay let's give it now here i am not able to see so what is this one to do list on increment where is this one app dot view the 15th line app dot view in the oh, oh what is this one on uh, to do list methods what is this one on so let's do some okay i think some problem has came uh, not a problem let's let's try to rectify this one so remove this one all okay remove this one all so write the methods thing i think here that should be oh sorry methods okay so let's copy yeah this is the code i think so i mistakenly falsely written this one all so i can remove this one all i can write the to do list in the components yeah so everything will be fine now let's try to see the output here now i think the output will be, yeah we got the output fine so it is in the center right so let's move it to the side so style is equal to so we don't have the bootstrap here why because this is a new project right? so there is a reason so left i will write the text line left now here it would so we, we are able to see all the to do list fine this is fine now what i want to do is so here i let's me write, write let's write the to do list okay now in this one i need to write done done count i need to mention this done count 
so whatever the id is uh, whatever the whatever the things i had done count i need to show the done count here for example here you can write something like uh, so here i can write something like to do dot done is there okay uh, if it is true then show done or otherwise show not done okay i can write it like this so this is also i can you can write so now here if we try to see the output yeah here this one is done done not done not done this way helps so and now here in this one i need to show the count how can i show the count here so the count we can show is for example here i can write something like uh, done uh, done sorry done list count so i can make it as a done list count i can take one variable okay i can write here done list count okay i can take one variable and what i can do sorry no need of variable so we can take one method or something like this okay and here i write it get done list get done list count i can write like this okay now here what i need to write so return i will take the to do list so this is the this is the property right this is the computer property this dot to do list dot filter okay i can take the filter each one and what i will try to do i will get the to do so whichever is to do dot done okay i can get this one dot length i can write directly dot length so this this method i can directly use it here so fine right it's not a problem so we can write it so i can write it directly like this so this is one process so now if i try to see here the output okay if i try to show so here done count we are able to see now let's go to the this is the component to do switch component Let, let's go to the app.view in the app.view also here in the down somewhere in the down i want to show that to do's to do's list completed okay completed i want to show the count here so then what i need to do again what i need to do again i need to get this all to do's okay or otherwise i need to get this one all get done list okay the same method i need to take and here i need to write it here instead of to do's list i don't have the to do's list like right? so i need to go to the store i need to get the state and i need to get the to do's here so i need to do the filter and i need to get this one so now if i keep it here to do's list okay get done list now i will be able to get the data so now if i try to see the output here i am able to get this to do's list that two and here also two is fine but here what we are doing so here we are repeating the code okay so we are repeating the code so then we are repeating the code means so now here we need to we need to do some other logic or something like that is so we need to change in the two places we need to change in the to do list and also in the web data we need to change it so this is in this place getters comes into the existence okay so the getters is nothing but what we can do is here we can write it getters okay so getters this is also an object same like mutations and here you can write done to do list okay so this one will not exist okay the state data will not exist so taking of the state data it will it will change the some data okay so it will change the behavior so it will, it will give you some data which is not present in the state so now i i need to get the to do list count done 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 to do list count so it will have the state thing and here what i will try to do is so here i can copy this one okay this entire thing and here i can write it in the main.js directly here so written state dot to do's okay dot filter to do to do dot and so here i can use this directly i can use this directly i can remove this one okay and in the computer i can write directly done list count something like this variable i can take and here i can write return this dot dollar store dot this time we cannot use the state why because these are in the getters so i need to use getters dot whatever the name it we have mentioned here in the done to do list count we need to mention the same name here okay done to do list count so no need to use the brackets here so same like the property we can use it directly and here i can use this one directly in the place of here okay in the same scenario we can go to this one and here in the app dot view what i can do is so instead of writing these all in the methods i can write directly write in the computed i can copy this one okay i can copy this one and i can paste it here so now we have we have written the code in one place 
and we are making use of that code in the multiple places okay so this is the use of the getters now here if you see the same done to is available so this stay two number is not present in the state okay so that is not present in the state but according to the changes done by this one so okay according to the changes according to the data what we have we are getting the some extra information which is not present in the state so this help this is this is the nothing but the getters functionality so common functionality if you have logic wise so if you want to do some manipulation data if you want to get some manipulation data so you can use the getters instead of directly getting the state like this or modifying that instead of directly getting the state so if you want some addition uh, modified data from the state so you can use this getters functionality okay so if you if you want to get only the part of the state data okay so what i can say is if you if you want to get only the part of state data so instead of doing the everything logic there and get, and and extracting that part of data from the whole state so you can it is better to write in the getters so that you can use this reuse this code anywhere in the all the components okay so this is the concept of the getters thing so next in the video we will learn more deeper into the getters functionality okay? if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you